Apollon, the angels of alchemy, the angels of Atlantis, the angels of the awareness, the angels of the angles, all of the angels of the Elohim, that's Mikael, Raphael, Shamuel, Zadkiel, Jophiel, Metatron, Uriel, Melchizedek, all of the archangels of the Elohim who are here to support us fully. As we call all of the guides, the guardian angels, all those gods and goddesses that we work with. And today we're calling in not only the angels but the dragons. Because today is St. George's Day in England. The day that the last dragon was slain by St. George to bring freedom, to bring liberty, to bring to, to, bring to this space and place sovereignty. And as this day of St. George with the rose, as the masculine male dragon, Archangel Michael, who slays this dragon, has so the male and the female come together, taking care and loving each other fully. That's my version anyway. <laughs> and as we have the rose quartz dragon, the rose quartz here in Glastonbury is a very, very important stone. And the rose quartz is the Archangel Shamuel's rose quartz, the pink ray of light. Isn't this beautiful, this little dragon? And as the energy it brings the fire, it brings the strength, it brings the, the, the fire to burn out anything that is less than love. So that's what we are intending today, to burn out this virus, to burn out this fear, to burn out anything that is less than love. I'm hearing from lots of people that it is a scary time for them, and it is. We do not decry or de belittle or, or not be serious about how serious this is. And it is serious. It is a time for us all to come together, for us all to recognize that we are one. One heart, one love as one. The angels are here. We're burning the peace candle here in the Daisy Center. And we are sending and pumping out this love. This community heart is pumping harder and faster than I've ever known in the whole time that I have been associated with Glastonbury, the heart center of the world. Of course, the world is the heart center of the universe. So we have all these beings of light pouring this love into the heart to really give us strength, to give us light, to give us the love. And it is about making that choice of, of love, of the Rose Quartz. We have the Rose Quartz community um, from the Daisy Centre and it's to give you support. I love that, the support of the spine of the dragon, really, really bringing in that support um, so that you know that you are uh, connected to the heart of Glastonbury, you're connected to the angels and that is just by your intention. Any rose quartz that you have, hold on to it. I have a moonstone and I have um, a amethyst, um, black diamond and a herkimer um, and as these stones, as they all come together, as they all bring the light, the love for you on this day and it is about really, really having the strength to overcome this, the strength to know that when that little voice comes in, just to let it be, let it go. So as we use the, the sage, <laughs> thank goodness for Star Child, the sage from Star Child, the candle, the peace candle, we bless them, they are um, still sending stuff out if you need any. And if we now go into that place and space of the heart, taking a breath, bringing the light, bringing the love, just taking these few minutes, 11 minutes at 11 every day to connect with your angels, to connect with your heart. And today, along with all of the angels, we're bringing in the energy of Archangel Michael, of Archangel Shamuel, bringing forth the fire and the love. And as we bring this fire and love together in your heart, Feeling your earth, feeling your grounding, feeling your energy flowing right down from heaven to earth, through your spine, right down into the heart of Mother Earth. Just take a breath. And as you breathe in this light, breathing in this love, 
feel the love, feel the light as it flows down through the top of your head, right through to the tip of your toes. And in the centre of your heart, this beautiful golden flower, I see it as a daisy, you can see it as a rose or a sunflower or any other flower as it just flows and overflows. The dandelion, we've got so many dandelions in the garden, it's amazing. They usually get mowed away by this time of year, but it's beautiful. The garden is like a meadow, it's absolutely fabulous. And so in this place and space of your heart, this meadow of flowers, this beautiful, beautiful array of light, stepping into the centre, to the centre of your heart space, this beautiful golden light of the divine, like the sunlight, like the light just pouring through from your soul star to your earth star to your heart star. And in the very centre of this sacred space, the emerald green healing light of your heart chakra, stepping through this doorway, this gateway, into the strength of your spiritual heart, the pearl of your heart, the pearl of your wisdom. Stepping into this place of the pearl of your wisdom, just feeling that light. And as you feel that light, that golden white light in the centre of your heart, as you breathe that light, breathing in the light and the love of Amma. Amma, the divine goddess, our beautiful, beautiful being of light, breathing in the love, the ah, the, and out through the, through the ma, and out through the om. And as you breathe in this light, this love, bring that pearl of your heart to fill your whole body, to the, to your third eye, to beam out this light through your third eye bringing the strength through your third eye, through your brain, as you breathe out through your third eye, really feeling this love. And as the love flows through from your third eye, through your heart, through your root, right down to the heart of Mother Earth. This beautiful sphere of light, it is so huge now. It is massive, it literally encompasses your whole being. As you do the sun salute, the angel, halo, angel salute that we did yesterday and every day, as you feel this love, this pearl of your heart flowing all the way around your being. And in this place, if you're not feeling very well today, and there's lots of people who aren't, we send you our healing, we send you our commiseration, we send you our strength, we support you with the breath of the dragon, Yes, feel that love, feel that light, that dragon breath just flowing through. I know I look mad, I don't care. <laughs> I know it works. I know that if we have this intention, if we really believe and we feel this and if we accept it, if we even in our reluctance go, oh, all right, then I surrender. I just give up, just make me feel better. <laughs> then just receive it. We will send it to you. And as this light, this love, as it flows through your body, feel this angelic hug. Feel the love that's flowing from the heart of Glastonbury as it flows through your body. Just feel that hug, feel that love. Make sure that you really do connect with yourself, feeling this love. And as it flows and overflows, look forward to what's coming. Let's have this time of of strength, of power, of today is St. George's Day. Let's let's hope that by the 7th of May, which is the day we have told, we have been told we can be free. Let's hope that from the 7th of May we can step out, we can realign ourselves. We are hoping that by the 21st of June you can join us for our Dragons Retreat at Avebury. Every summer solstice on the 21st of June, the dragon awaits and it awakes. It awakes uh, for humanity, clearing all of the old karma, the old stuff. If you want to be part of that, then PM me and I will send you the details. Let's hope we can all join together as one. One love, one heart as one. Namaste. Have a lovely day, a beautiful, strong day. 
the heart of Glastonbury. Lots of love. Bye.